Welcome back to another GIMP video. This one on the uh, cloning operations. This is part three. This is on um, filter brushes. Uh, basically, um, one nice thing about uh, GIMP is you can select an image source and uh, the image source can be another layer. And then if you go to the alignment, you can select registered and what happens is you're not tied to a specific source or spot on that image. The two images are cloned together. So if you are cloning, like let's say this cloud or this cloud here, or let's say the airplane, what happens is as you move over these points on the airplane, it's actually picking up the pixels uh, from the exact same locations on the image below. Now if you think about uh, the implications of this, you can have a lower layer uh, that is basically uh, almost anything, different contrast, different uh, brightness, uh, uh, different dynamic range, whatever. And what you can do, or blurred, or uh, uh, a different color, whatever, and you can clone it onto the image above or any other image. You can also have multiple images and clone them. And if you combine this, and I refer you to the tutorial on selections and channels, you could even confine it to a specific uh, selection, like let's say the airplane on this channel. But here, let's here's what we do basically, is we select the clone tool, we come down here and uh, ensure that it says that uh, where the source is an image, and the alignment has to be registered. It's originally none, we have to make sure it is registered. Then what we do is we come down here and we look at the layer. This is a layer of the exact same image which I applied the uh, motion blur to. And what we're going to do is we're going to control click on this layer to select it as our image source. And you'll notice that little um, uh, cross with a circle indicates that that is our image source. Now we're going to come up to the airplane and turn on the visibility of the airplane and if you'll notice, I'll start painting in this area and the blurred image that appears below will be transferred to this image. So what I can do is give the illusion that I am panning the camera um, with, a, with a rapidly flying airplane overhead. So what I'll do is I'll clone this whole thing. And I did all the filtering concepts and everything so it wouldn't take all the time in the video. So if you'll notice, every pixel that I paint from the other layer is aligned with every pixel in this layer. So I can go over the clouds and stuff a bit. I won't be too accurate. But um, what I can do is, um, I got too close to the airplane there, I picked up a little bit of the motion blur. So without getting too precise and doing all of it, this will make it look like I am panning to capture a rapidly, rapidly moving airplane over the ground. Now, to go over the steps one more time, you select your target layer. You control click on that layer to select that as the source. Then you come back up and you collect the layer that you want to paint on and as I say, there can be multiple layers. You can have different filter layers and just go in between them and use those uh, filters that are applied on those layers to paint on your image. You select that image and then you paint on it. You have to make sure it's registered. What registered does is says, okay, for every pixel that I'm painting here, it's utilizing the image in the exact same pixel, pixel that is above it or below it. 
So when I'm painting here, uh, like let's say this star, when it's registered, it's using the filter layer from this star. And we can do that as an example. I'll kind of screw up our image a little bit here, but see, we painted right over the star. Now, what that will do is that will allow you to embed certain filter effects and layers and then paint on the same on the image that you are trying to manipulate. Very, very powerful tool. It's referred to as filter brushes, and um, I encourage you to use it. Uh, this is the end of the um, um, the uh, video on uh, cloning part three. I will now go on to more advanced cloning techniques. And I thank you for watching.